Hello everyone, this is Beverly Black and welcome back to our channel. Thank you for stopping by today. I just wanted to leave a few words of encouragement today to those who are on this road looking for their biological parents or siblings or any family member. This road is not easy, not easy. But we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. He is our strength, our shield, our rock, our everything. I have been going through phases and stages where I feel like giving up. Because in August, I will be 70 years old. And I have been looking for my biological mother since I was a child. I was blessed to meet my biological father before he died. But the meeting was not what you would think it would be. It, uh, it was a lot of emotions. He was going through a lot of things. I was going through a lot of things. He couldn't answer questions. He didn't know, because uh, basically he left my mother with two small babies. I believe in my heart that it was eating at him. Even though he was a grown man at the time I met him uh, in his 60s, but he still was carrying that pain. He was the type of person that I know I couldn't talk to him. I couldn't seem to pull it out of him in the little time that I, get, I did get to talk to him. I was raised by Alan and uh, Bessie Carr in Weldon, North Carolina. I was never legally adopted. And he told me that he came by to see me often and that bothered me because, you know, I kind of remember a couple of times my biological father came by, but I don't remember all of the times. And he told me that I will, that stayed, it just stays with me that I can't seem to put it out. You know, I used to come to see you, but you was um, crying and wanting to go with me. I couldn't take you with me. I had a family. What is that to tell your child who was looking for her parents, looking for you, looking for answers, but you didn't have time because you had a family. I had um, a half sister, Margaret, and she's deceased now. I got to meet Margaret before she died. And, um, his wife had another daughter during the time that he left my mother. No, let me go back. During the time that he left his wife to take off with my mother and take her to another state. And while he was there in Baltimore with my mother, had two children, myself and my brother, then I don't know what occurred to make him decide to go back to his wife who had had a daughter by another man, and he had an older daughter, my sister Margaret. I never understood it, but my sister Margaret told me that my biological father always treated the daughter by another man better than he treated her. So evidently, he had issues also. We all have some kind of issues that we have to deal with. My mother, as to this point in time, I still have not met her. I'm still sending out messages, emails to people, and they're still not returning. It's like nobody wants to get in this mess. I don't want to be a part of this mess. I don't want to tell these family secrets. I don't care who she is, what she been, what she's done. That does not matter. We cannot pick our parents. We can't pick them. 
And whoever God blesses us with, that is a blessing. We are supposed to love. That is what we are supposed to do. And we are supposed to show love. We're supposed to love with the love of God in us. And that is what I am trying my best to do. That's why we got to stay prayed up. We got to read the word. We got to seek God's face. We got to speak, decree, and declare things over our life that will bring us victory. We got to keep our mind cleared and think of good things, lovely things, things of good report, honest things. Because I tell you, when you are on this search, your mind goes in all kinds of different directions. That's why it's good to take a break, to clear your mind, to get better understanding and enlightenment so you can go on this journey. It's not easy because there's a lot of us out here who have been searching for years and years and years. And I am here to tell you, don't give up. Your breakthrough is just around the corner. So we don't know what our breakthrough might be or what we may learn on this journey, but we're gonna learn something. And to those who have found their biological parents, God bless you. And I pray that it was all that you want it to be. I know every reunion is not peaches and cream, love, 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 lovely. But we have some disappointment. But at least to see that face and to know that person and to know that you came from that person that brings some kind of closure to you. So I appreciate all the comments, the emails that I've gotten, the encouragement. Y'all have been a truly blessing to me and strength that has helped me to keep on, on, on this journey. And as I find out things, I will truly let you know. And the day and time, if my biological mother is still alive and God allows me to see her face to face, I will bless you all so y'all can know that story. Because one day, as the song goes, we will understand it better by and by. When the morning comes, all the saints of God are gathering home. So everyone be blessed. Know that I love you, but God loves you more because you are his masterpiece. And our God does not make any junk. You hear me? You are not junk. You are somebody in Christ. Be blessed and prosperous. I love you. Thank you. Growing into a flower and glamorous